The main area of Pen Pal's panel is called the canvas. Use the zoom slider in the footer to give yourself more space around your shapes. You can select elements by clicking on them or by clicking in a blank area of canvas and dragging a marquee over them. Hold the shift key to add and remove elements from your selection using either the click or the marquee method. Selected elements have a filled icon, whereas unselected ones have an empty icon. Hold the Alt key and use the plus and minus keys to change the size of the icons. Dragging points in PenPal is pretty much the same as it is in After Effects, but dragging tangents is a little different because you can select multiple tangents and drag them all at the same time. Hold the Alt key and click and drag on a smooth tangent to make it broken. Similarly, hold Alt and click on a broken tangent to make it smooth and equal length again. As you're dragging tangents around, you can temporarily hold the Alt key to position both of them exactly where you want them. Hold Alt and drag from any point to create new, smooth, equal length tangents. When you're dragging elements around, hold Shift to constrain your cursor to horizontal, vertical, or 45 degree axes. Your cursor will snap to other elements, as well as the origins of the elements you're moving and the axes of both. You can quickly turn off all snapping with the toggle in the footer. To customize which types of snapping are active, right click in an empty area of canvas to bring up the context menu and check or uncheck the different options. In the footer are undo and redo buttons. On Windows, you can also use the standard Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y to undo and redo, as long as PenPal is docked rather than floating. On Mac, you can use Option Z and Option Y to undo and redo, regardless of whether the panel is docked or not. Click the card on the right to watch the next video, or the one on the left for the whole playlist.